right time for another in Mandem video production. Hey. Anyway, two things. Uh, Piro and Hoffaday did the two hour or whatever. Whatever. I don't even know what it is. Anyway, the first half was on physics and then they talked politics and they just, you know, they're just, they're idiots. Um, anyway, the physics was just horrible. It's all the fantasy physics. Multi-dimensions, extra dimensions, bullshit. And uh, it's got some sort of this deceptive qualm title, like quantum mechanics is real or something. Like it said something real about quantum mechanics and what it actually is. But anyway, no, that aside, uh, there is parts of what they were talking about that was just so bad that I'll talk about some of that. Um, it's, you know, political, philosophical elements. Anyway, and it's related to a comment uh, left on my last video by some idiot called It's Not That Deep. Um, and it's just like, oh, well, it's deeper than you think it is, asshole, because you can't tell the difference between psychology and philosophy. You can't tell the difference between your emotional reactions and your intellectual reactions. The ones where you're adding two plus two and the ones when you're daydreaming about how five seems like a better number. Uh, but anyway, um... You don't seem to grasp the difference between existential nihilism and nihilism. My subjective empathy is not objective. Nowhere in my video did I talk about your subjective empathy being anything but psychological shit, an emotion. Nowhere in any of my videos have I said emotions are really brilliant. No, I've said exactly the opposite. I said exactly the opposite in my video. And you can't seem to understand that. You can't seem to understand the difference between describing something, all right, and this projecting what you wish or want on things. And I described reality as parasitic. I described it as addictive. I described it as consumption and reproduction. And you ignore all that description and call that some sort of emotion. It's not an emotion, asshole. Those are words describing actual phenomenon that take place in brains, jackass. <sighs> Sorry, but I mean, fuck you. Pay attention. Um, it's, object <laughs> it's an objective fact that I have empathy, but meaning is not objective. Well, again, you say it's not. You say there's no significant facts because somehow every fact you have, or every fact you know, is some sort of subjective nonsense. I'm saying if I'm holding my finger up, okay, away from the rest of my fingers, it doesn't even have to be up, let's just say it's not part of a fist, that's a factual condition. It can be described without the subjective nonsense being an issue. It has nothing to do with subjectivity. It has to do with reasonable observation, first off, uh, physical phenomena that is possible and is verifiable. We can verify that organisms are basically the same, that brains are basically the function, basically the same in categories, and we can know that, well, yeah, I have sensations, other people have sensations. These are things that can be verified as pretty confident to have facts as facts, okay? It's not fantasy. It's not subjective nonsense. It's not some sort of emotional taste. It's not saying, I like chocolate ice cream. You can't tell the difference. That's where it's a lot deeper than you think, jackass, because there's a huge fucking goddamn difference between what you project as a truth and what is a truth. Uh, I mean, I, you know, to, if I was to say blueberries are good because I like them, that wouldn't mean a hell of a lot. As a factual statement, it wouldn't mean anything. There are uh, uh, rhinoceroses in the sky because uh, that cloud looks like one. People could analyze that statement and say, well, look, you made a few mistakes here, okay? <laughs> because something looks like a rhinoceros doesn't make it a rhinoceros. And we already know what clouds are, jackass. So clouds aren't rhinoceroses, fuckhead. I mean, you know, this is things that we already know about. We already know what psychology is, jackass. We already know what our bigotry is, jackass. All right? That's the subjective part. But we also know that we can add two plus two and get fucking goddamn four. And that's not subjective, shithead. We also know that we can recognize the Empire State Building exists in New York fucking city. We can know these things, shithead. It's not a subjective truth. It's a fucking truth. And you can subjectively understand the fucking truth. 
Uh, anyway. It's, uh, <clears throat> but meaning is not objective because you subjectively think it should be. Well, again, I don't subjectively think it should be. What I think is that reality is there to be described. And the fact that you're an emotional basket case doesn't change the fact that reality exists. And you can either describe it accurately or you can describe it inaccurately. You can describe it based on your emotions and get it wrong, or you can describe it based on rational observation and get it fucking goddamn right. And the fact that you can't tell the difference is your fucking problem, jackass. You're the one who can't figure it out. I can figure out that the Empire State Building is in New York City. It's not in fucking, you know, ping pong China. It's not in uh, Russia. It's not some fucking place else. It's in New fucking York City. And it's been there for a fucking hundred years. <sighs> Asshole. Um, Alright, so, you know, the do-gooders did their job and ragged on this guy and blah, 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 blah. And he finally concedes, okay, uh, I'll concede, uh, you know, some merit to this idea that suffering's bad. <laughs> you know. But... Then he, he, he does the same old thing they always do, right? They always revert to arguments that we've already argued a million times. So, so he, again, he can't get it right. It's an, it's an opinion that some pain is good. Well, that's, you know, going to the gym, vaccines, drawing blood. No, no none of those pains are good. The fact is, is that you're getting some compensating benefit, okay? When you think a pain is good, it's usually good because you think it's making your dick bigger. It's giving you something else that you want. All right, so it's not in and of itself. It hasn't changed that pain is bad. It's only changed because you're getting some pain relief, some other pain relief. Okay, the pain of small peniosis, all right, is going away. And so that's why you think this gym thing is doing you something. Because you think it's expanding your penis. Fuck brain. Um, it, you know, tattoos especially. I mean, if that isn't, you know... <laughs> penis, that's just penis work. And Mendham is saying life sucks because suffering does, but like Schopenhauer claims, the good is not outweighed by the bad. I'm just claiming, okay, that there is no real good, that any of your goods are just relief of something that's already bad inside of you, okay? Some need, some dependency, some fucking addiction. So you're getting off because you've been programmed to get off, all right? These are all whips, and the whips are, some whips get taken away, so when the, the, the big whip gets taken away, you'll accept the little whip kind of bullshit, all right? But that's all that's happening here, shithead. You're a psychology, and you're being fucking owned by goddamn Borg DNA, and you're too fucking stupid to figure that out, because you're just too fucking stupid, as pointed out, because you can't take anything seriously, because you can't do any real hard listening, which is required to do any hard thinking. Everything comes back to life isn't worth the bother, because sometimes sensation sucks. That's not the argument, but life isn't worth the bother, because there's no true thing to accomplish, except to have a small penis and then try to make yourself think you have a big penis. That's all there is. You're born with a small penis. You spend the rest of your life trying to figure out how do I make my penis big. That's it. That, all right? You start off insecure, incomplete, unaccomplished, a failure, and you basically have this notion in your head, I have to overcome, I have to overcome, I have to overcome, I have to overcome. All right? You're born to be some stupid goat to climb stupid mountains. You're born to be some stupid salmon that swims up stupid fucking streams. That's all you're fucking goddamn doing, jackass. Uh, Antinatalism, period. I don't know how that's a... I don't even know how that's a meaningful sentence. So anyway, he obviously doesn't... can't understand. <laughs> you know, he refuses to. Um, but again, you didn't counter-argue Schopenhauer or me by just making some, you're just claiming it. Well, we're claiming it based on a rational argument, based on psychology and understanding what the word addiction means, jackass. And yeah, that's sort of significant. I'm making the argument that the heroin addict is unproductive. If he's bashing people over the head with a brick to gain gratification of a need he shouldn't even have in the first place, I guess you call that fucking no fucking good. Yeah, that's right. That's unfucking productive. That's fucking destructive. That leaves the universe in a lesser condition. Period. And unlike the Martians, who are not leaving the universe in a lesser condition, we're just leaving a lot of suffering on this little ball of shit. Okay? There's a lot of yelping and screaming and horror and 
terror taking place, and we're not accomplishing a motherfucking thing that needs to get accomplished. And that's a fact. You don't like it, right? So you're the one projecting your values, jackass. You're the one making up this idea that we're accomplishing something to justify something. And we're not accomplishing anything that can justify anything. All right. It's all a delusion in your not-too-deep brain. Okay, <laughs> the delusion of accomplishment, which gets to fucking Pirro and Hothliday, fucking morons. All right, so Hothliday, um, you know, it's just so funny, because he makes this complaint that in Mendham doesn't give me proper respect for my autonomy and my right to my opinion. That's right, you're not allowed to be an asshole or an idiot. I mean, they think they can't figure this shit out. I have to explain that to them. I have the freedom of choice. The freedom to make bad choices. Overtly horrible choices. No, you don't, jackass. As soon as I can identify you as stupid, okay, I can disqualify you. If I know you don't know how to drive or you think cars going backwards uh, is more efficient or something, you think you're in the demolition derby when you're out in the road, then I can disqualify you from participation because I can say you're too fucking stupid. And you're too fucking stupid, jackass. Um, <laughs> that's why I don't have respect for your choices is because you can't make a rational choice. You don't understand that other people feel just as passionately, just as intensely as you do. You don't understand that your welfare isn't somehow more important than their welfare. In my opinion, that means you're disqualified from playing the game. You're too fucking stupid to play the game. Because you don't understand the fundamental principle involved here, which is I can't go out and harm something else without creating something called real harm. Not fake harm. Not their harm. Not imaginary harm. Real fucking harm. And Piro can't figure this out either because he's all, I'm freedom of choice, except for the things I think are bad. So for Piro, it just means I have values. I'll tell you when you're not allowed to have the choice, okay? Um, you know, but uh, if you have a, an opinion about something having a welfare like animals being torturable, well, that opinion is irrelevant. Uh, you can't violate my freedom of choice, okay, based on your irrelevant notion that animals can be tortured. Fuck you, yes I can, jackass. So again, I'll just disqualify you as being too fucking stupid to play the game because you won't even acknowledge what are overtly, grossly obvious motherfucking facts. That victims aren't something you get to decide it's a victim if I say it's a victim. But it's not a victim if I say it's not a victim. Fuck you, you have to have an argument and your argument is hypocritical and duplicitous. You have nothing but hypocrisy and duplicity to defend any of your bullshit about people's fucking free choice to be some sort of natural liver or some sort of blah blah blah. Always all I have to do is say, well, would you legalize dog torture for entertainment? Can I torture dogs and cats for my own pleasure? Because it's the same fucking goddamn difference. Can I buy a dog and then hunt it with a bow and arrow and shoot it and sit by it with my little trophy happy smile? Is that legal? Should you, would you make that legal, you fucking hypocrite? You duplicitous, lying, motherfucking cunt of a hypocrite? To imply that other people are against choice or against freedom because they have more rational sensibilities than you, because they're not an irrational, emotional asshole who can't think fucking logically at all, who somehow thinks their dog's brain's different than a pig's brain. Well, you're just too fucking goddamn stupid, motherfucker. Too fucking stupid. Too big a liar. Too big a hypocrite. Too big a duplicitous motherfucking manipulator of the truth. You fucking lying cunt. So again, I defeat your argument by just saying, are you pro-choice on bullfighting, dogfighting, cockfighting, any kind of animal torture uh, imaginable that satisfies some fucker? Can he fuck dogs? Can they do whatever they want because they get off on it? Because it's their fucking choice? Because it's their definition of uh, my purpose? They kept talking about purpose. My own purposes. I'll make my own purposes. Fuck you and your own purposes. We see what own purposes mean. Own purposes mean fucking Jews in concentration camps, motherfucker. That's what own purposes means, asshole. All right, my convenience, my 
my comfort is not the fucking universe. You have to have it in the context of the real fucking world. And what's and he said something stupid. What's what's wrong with me just masturbating intellectually or masturbating emotionally or masturbating uh, psychologically and doing my thing in life? Well, what's wrong with it, jackass, is things are dying, okay, to feed you, you stupid cunt. Things are being tortured to feed you, you stupid cunt. So, yeah, you have to function a little bit better than that, all right? If that's all you're accomplishing is just gratifying your stupid psychology, well, then, yeah, you're failing because you're not fucking cheap. Your existence is expensive, stupid fuck. I mean, I just don't, you know, this is so fucking dumb. And so they were talking about this. Um, oh, well, again, I just have to emphasize. They think that they keep using these, this concept of I, I have integrity somehow. Somehow I have, uh, each individual has some sort of logical integrity or some sort of rational integrity that they're supposed to be given some benefit of some goddamn fucking doubt that doesn't fucking exist. I'm supposed to think there's some doubt that a dog's brain is different than a pig's brain. And it's not fucking, it's not doubtable. There's no doubt that the fucking pig suffers just as real as the dog suffering. This is just a bullshit fucking conversation to even have this as a starter. It's a non-fucking goddamn starter. There is no benefit of the doubt here. There, there's no uh, bullshit where I have any obligation whatsoever to think you're anything but an evil, denying, hypocritical, lying motherfucker, okay? The fact that you have deceived your own fucking perverted little brain into thinking your own purposes overwhelm the torture you're causing just makes you such an asshole. So again, he's pro-choice on, on nataling. Like, any asshole should have the right to go natal. No, no IQ test required. No purpose test required. They don't even have to have good fucking intentions. No, they can just do it. Okay? Anybody can be Dr. Frankenstein. He's just giving broad license. It's a matter of freedom of choice. I mean, it's just such a pile of motherfucking shit. If somebody could prove that abortion had something to do with real harm to a real brain, okay, in terms of the fetus being tortured, uh, they could have, they could make a rational argument against abortion. That's the end of your fucking goddamn free choice. And I'm saying I can prove, okay, that you're causing real harm with these decisions. I can prove that real people will be really tortured by your motherfucking freedom to act on your drunk driving fucking ambition. Okay, it costs real fucking lives. There's no fucking free choice on drunk driving. Why? Not because every incidence of drunk driving causes harm, but because we know it will inevitably cause catastrophe, harm, uh, trauma. It'll ruin people's lives. That's a fucking goddamn fact. It's a fucking goddamn fact that you no motherfucking careless, motherfucking reckless, natalist motherfuckers don't put any work into your goddamn project. You don't sit there and fucking worry about it enough. You don't work hard enough on it and your goddamn kids get ruined and they die. That's a fact. Even these celebrity cunts, the rest of them, they give their kids everything and they goddamn die. They die horribly, drunks, drug addicts, fucking, what's her name, uh, this stupid singer with her fucking dead daughter in this bathtub and all this bullshit. That's what they end up with. You just cause a bunch of fucking goddamn misery and harm with your reckless fucking sloppy way of living, you motherfucking cunt. You don't take any responsibility for the goddamn facts of life on this fucking planet. It's evolution, jackass. Okay, it's a system that says swim up the stream, lay eggs and die, and have your babies eat you, and then we'll kill 99.99% of your children. That's the fucking game of evolution, and you're endorsing it because you're a dumb mother. Fucker. Okay, you're endorsing it for emotional bullshit, subjective reasons and calling it some objective fact that life is good. Life is stupid. Life is a goddamn fucking catastrophe. And you wake up every morning knowing that and somehow you brainwash, you admitted it. I brainwash myself every day into optimistic thinking. Well, what does that say about you, jackass? Okay, <laughs> it's that you can't live a rational life, you can't live a serious life, and then you'll make fucking goddamn videos on the internet like you have something important to say about something. You've just admitted I delude myself every day with a bunch of bullshit to get through the goddamn day, and yet you'll sit there and advocate that this is the way of life, this is the way people should live. Fucky, you wee crazy bitchy. Alright, so I think I've made my point. If you're going to prove yourself dumb as fuck, I have a right to 
tie you in a chair and say, fuck you, you're not getting out. All right, you're not going out the barn door, asshole, because you're fucking goddamn Frankenstein on a mission. All right, fuck you. And Hothaday, you've proven yourself dumbass because you can't figure out that thems aren't me's. All right, you're too stupid to figure out that thems are me's. All right, so yeah, you're too dumb to play the game. We have to tie you in a fucking chair. We have to lock your fucking door because you're too fucking stupid. You can't tell the difference between your dog and a pig because you're too fucking stupid. All right, so that's what disqualifies you, jackass, from having your own purposes. It's because your own purposes are absolute crap. <sighs> okay. And Piro, you're just a fucking dumb, silly, fucking hypocrite hippie. Oh, we need we need the younger generation to catch. No, we need the older generation not to become a bunch of dupeless, lying sellouts. That's what we need. All right, we already had the young generation that was all hippie and all blah blah blah. blah. And no, that was really just all about I don't like being drafted. And as soon as I took away the obligation that I might get drafted, they all put on their fucking neon bullshit and they all went to fucking discos to go do their whatever it is, staying alive bullshit. I mean, fuck you. We don't need more fucking dumb, silly teenagers running around going, Oh, peace, peace, love, peace, peace, love. No, we don't need any of that shit. We need some actual rational people to make actual rational arguments about fucking goddamn reality, you motherfucker. We need fucking assholes like you who have sold out and really just become silly putty to sit there and grab hold of something real for us to change now and then and actually make a few coherent rational statements about the actual condition of the actual fucking world without making excuses for everything. Well, it's okay if we have 12 billion people. It's okay if we have 16 billion people. It's okay if we have 37 billion people. We can all just eat little uh, wafer crackers. Yeah, so I think green. Which is fine with me, but it's not going to be soil and green. It's going to be goddamn frozen pus. You're going to be eating buckets of frozen pus. <sighs> you fucking dumbass. So anyway, I didn't think this would be an animated video, but... These people are just preposterously, intellectually dishonest. Well, I, it only matters to them. <laughs> you, fuck you! I mean, this is such a pile of shit. What's well, I mean, the them's in trouble, so who cares? It's not the me's in trouble. And they think that's reasonable. But they think there's multiverses. They think there's 15 dimensions. They think every bit of crap. See, that? all they did, they invented the multiverse. Why? Because they had a bunch of these extra numbers. And they said, Where, what rug can we sweep these under? Because these don't make any sense. Well, let's just invent another dimension and we'll throw them in there. There, mathematical problem solved. We'll just put all our errors in the multiverse. There, we're done now, right? And that's science. That's physics the right way. No, I think that's physics the wrong fucking way, loop-de-doo. All right. All right, so yeah, so, so I just wrote down... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, what makes it illegitimate? Harm, in big letters. That's what makes it illegitimate, asshole. Accept right to impose harm. No, I don't accept your right to impose harm. Okay, asshole? Do you get it? You're not, you're not, you don't have this right to choice to impose harm. All right? That, no, you have to justify. Anytime you're going to cause any harm or any risk of harm, you have to justify your behavior. It's like dumping the dioxin in the drinking water. If you're going to do it, you have to explain how there won't be any harm. Asshole. Oh. So anyway, just such a disgusting way to argue. Feel better imposing harm. See, what's the harm in me feeling better? That's what the, both these assholes keep saying. What's the harm in me feeling better because I have some delusion or I have some notion of purpose? Well, the harm is, is if you're, if, if you're doing it and you're going to 
hurt something because as a consequence of it, or you're going to expend resources as a consequence of it, then it's harm, asshole. If some silly rich bitch has some silly notion in her head that she has to re-wallpaper her fucking dining room every 15 minutes, okay, that means workers have to work, that means people have to spend time away from their kids, that means all kinds of shit has to happen. It's a waste of motherfucking resources. So instead of making food or making energy or making something useful, they have have to waste their time making some crazy bitch happy. So happiness is expensive. It can be incredibly socially expensive. And that has to be understood by you, asshole. You can't just ask some vacant question. What's the harm in me masturbating? Well, there's no harm in you actually masturbating. There is harm when you call what you're doing to the world some sort of masturbation. Because that's not masturbation. That's fucking, okay? When you're fucking the world, that's not fucking masturbation, asshole. And you're fucking the world by sucking in the dead fucking biosphere for your oxygen on feeding on it every goddamn day. Every goddamn day, trillions of organisms meet their fatal, miserable end in some horrific way on this goddamn planet. That's the price of your fucking goddamn masturbation, asshole. And you have to explain why you're worth it. And you haven't even come goddamn fucking close to doing that. You fucking cunts. All right, now I think I'm done. So, I'll make a physics video on the waste of time. I mean, they didn't get to one rational concept in physics. Just all random free will came up again. I mean, what the fuck? Piro thinks, okay, yeah, well, we still have 10% free will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, what the fuck? You people are idiots. There's no source of anything that could possibly be free. You have to put it in a cage first for there even to be a notion of free. You have to somehow build the jail first. You can't have, I'm free, if there's nothing imposing impediment. The impediment has to come first. Retards. You don't even understand the concept of free. You can't have an unrestrained will. It's not possible. Ugh. All right. So I think I'm done. And, and some idiot will say something about this, like no, the absence of choice, the fact that it is deterministic means that it's fatalistic. And there's a difference between fatalism, which is idiotic, like the same thing is going to happen even if, like say if I go to World War II or I don't go to World War II, same, same result. When we know that's not the truth, okay? I mean, it might be, but I'm just saying we know that theoretically... If I don't go get a glass of water, I won't have a glass of water, okay? So that's just the truth. And we know that there's the, the determinism has nothing to do with the fact that my mind can be changed. People can say words, they change who I am, they change how I think, they change how I act. That's determinism. So there's nothing in the, there's nothing in the world determinism that means you are fatalistically stuck being an asshole. You can stop being an asshole right the fuck now. Like that fucking fast. One neuron clicks, you stop being an asshole. It is not complicated. I stopped being a meat eater. It, it happened. All right? It wasn't, it was determined and all that shit, but it happened because my mind changed. You understand? Change still happens in a deterministic world. And what's being advocated is that you should change your perspective by recognizing that these circumstances do actually exist in actual reality and they must be accounted for. That's all you have to do. There, was that too much for you? You actually have to account for actual reality? Ooh, there, problem solved. You stop being an asshole as soon as you say, I have to account for actual reality. <laughs>